Okay, this is interesting. So, <clears throat> 11 minutes and 22 million. So that basically is 2 million a minute. And if you have a brain, that's basically uh, 120 million an hour. And that is, of course, if you're lucky without in Jesus, but... Um, huh. Right. Well, mining is basically fucked and who knows when it will stabilize. However, till that moment, y'all can take solace in syphilis. I mean, interstellar tourism. Now, unlike today in 2020, the future tourism of year 3300 is not a shambling pile of fresh corpses with owners of cruise liners committing Sudoku at mass due to complete shutdown of the industry. Isn't real life terrifying? No, today I bring you, well, no particular new, but rather updated and retested and properly examined way to earn actually comparable amount of cash. The Sirius Atmospherics Passenger Missions. Let's then start with the refresh. There are three systems out of the bubble that held the title of moneymaker throughout the years in one or the other way. Right now you can pick passenger missions from both Sios that is less than 10 light years away or Robigo that is almost 60 light years away where both systems offer the said missions to go scan a tourist site in Sotis. And now, as you can tell, a bunch of missions that have a similar objective are a good way to generate cash quickly. So, what ship do you need and what is the best way to make money? Well, first, I tested both systems and all the starports to see which one is the most lucrative. As it turns out, though Sios is so close, you would only spend one jump to get there. The travel time actually is only 10% lower than Robigo. The reason for this is that to make an extra jump, it only takes a minute. While to arrive at the station and starport or anywhere else in the system, it takes 3 to 4. And that is reflected in the score. Where for Sios, I only had to cut out one extra jump each way. So in my testing it turned out that Robigo offered more lucrative missions after adjusting for time. But which starport is best? Well, if you're in an Asp Explorer, then both. But if you want to go for the maximum profit, and let's be honest, all of us want to, Python is the way to go and definitely Robigo mines as well. Well, see, Robigo Mines offers a larger quantity passenger missions, and being in a glorious Python, you can pick up more of those. While on that other big station, it offers smaller capacity ones, so for Asp Explorer, it actually fills you up more. But total profits weirdly did not change for me while using an Asp. Now, second, what is the best ship? Well, of course it's Python. Now, the problem with Robigo Mines is that it offers the best missions. However, the largest thing you can land there is a medium ship. So, Python being, you know, the best at that, it is our choice. Now, for outfitting, well, just like in my old tutorial that I'll link down below if you want to go and check it out too, I mentioned that there are no missions that offer more than 16 passengers, so picking up the business cabins at the higher slots is a good idea, you know, just in case. But basically, all economy and off you go. Now, both Python and Asp Explorer that I tested were outfitted with this principle, and with Asp Explorer, sometimes I only got to fill half of my cabins, which is normal and to be expected, so don't worry. Basically, just pick the highest paying missions first, and you'll be fine. Now, as for the testing, as said, I tested this with an Asp Explorer, which anyone can pick up. Just make sure to equip the small fuel scoop for boat trips while getting to Robigo. It's quite far away. Now, with a sprightly and easygoing Asp, I'll have the link in the description for its build, I easily reached 30 light years in jump range and managed to do the runs in about 11 to 12 minutes and netted the profits around from 11 to 9 million. So here you can take away three things. Number one, you'll be earning about 1 million a minute, making it a decent 60 million an hour profit. Number two, you're at the mercy of the fucking RNG Jesus, so you better drop to your knees and cop the balls. And number three, any small mistake will ruin your income per time unit. Still, in one hour you can afford a Python, or rather six runs, and then, well, party begins. With the Python, you see, I did test it in two configurations, a six jump 
and a 4 jump loops. That is to say that to get to Sotis and back I had less than 31 light years in the first build and that netted me about 16 million in 13 minutes, making it quite more profitable than Asp runs, but clearly 2 minutes slower, which hurt regardless. Then I figured, alright, might as well shed some weight and try out that 4 jump route with barely 31 light years in capability. Here I got a little lucky with RNGs I admit, but well, 22 million in profits that took me 11 minutes to do a run, yeah, that uh, seems interesting, so let's calculate. Now oh, come on, I know that for British and Americans it's kind of hard task to do second grade arithmetic, but still, jiggle that jello brain. Anyways, the result is 2 million a minute, and in long term it's, uh, well, 120 million an hour. Of course, this takes a lot of focusing to get it spot on all the time, and so yeah, I expect you to drop the time a little bit as we all get bored. Still, what I did not expect is that while starting out with testing and my Asp Explorer, that I was capable of doing 60 million an hour with just that simple build. And after that, just profits keep on rising up to 100 and more an hour. Now mind you, yes, of course, to make Python jump from Robigo to Sotis in two jumps, you will need to engineer the living fuck out of your FSD, but come on, that should be the first thing or well, the only thing that every, and I mean every pilot should make. Anyhow, that is the simple and easy route, but to master it is gonna take a while. So I recommend practicing gravitational braking, or at the very least mapping the 50 and 75% throttle to some of your function keys for easier travels. Well, other than that, in the description you have the ship build as well as the old video that this is coming from. And you know, while there, if this helped you out, why not subscribe? At least that way you may stay in loop as to what is the best money making route as I sure will make updated videos for those things as they come. And oh, well, uh, while you're there, if you want to support a little bit more, cause, you know, you're awesome like that, maybe check out my Patreon. All the links in the description. But as for now, just strip your ship, pray to RNGesus, and all thank the wisdom of the Space Latvian.